Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you. We've got a lot of people of the tube, I forgot to say, but in your world. Hi there! And today I have an amplifier to show you, and it is this one. This is the Marshall MG100FX. This is uh, Joe's amplifier, which is very, very, very kindly uh, let me demo for you lovely people out there today. Um, so this is a four channel, 100 watt, solid state, uh, 1x12 combo and this is basically the um, this is well, this is supposed to be the more updated better version of my favorite amp one of my favorite amps in the world the Marshall MG100 HDFX um, it's supposed to be superior but in my personal opinion for what it's worth it's very inferior to the original MG especially the ones from 2004 the, the, like the first year I think that's the first year um, it's just not as good, in my opinion. But okay, um, but enough on that, I'll talk about that more later on. But um, there are some features on this amp which are really, really cool. Right, super cool. I like the fact, I mean, there's a million videos out there, and they've been out for a long time, so, you know, everyone probably knows about these amps. And for those who don't, um, you have the ability to, ha it's a four-channel amplifier, and you have the ability to save your EQ. So that's really, really cool. So for instance, like if I go to a clean sound, say, yeah, this is, this is my clean. Get to a clean, press the right button there, babe. So I've got a clean. And somebody, you know, some malicious, horrible person comes up to your amp at a gig and goes, nah, I'm gonna max everything out. And all of a sudden, your sound's gone. You're like, oh no. All you do is press one button and then come back and you're back to your original sound. So that ability to save your sound and have four different presets is super cool. Super, super cool. I love that feature. It's awesome. So basically it means you can run, walk around with your amplifier with every dial on zero and you know, you don't have to touch EQ, which I like doing. I don't want, you know, I like an amp I can set and leave and not have to keep going back and meddling with. So that's a really cool feature. I love the fact you can save presets. Uh, you've got reverb, you've got modulations, you've got delay. They're all really, really good as well. I like them. Um, I've got the four-way foot switch. I don't think it comes with the amp. I think it's separate, but it, this is super cool. This is kind of like a must-have. And I've got it set up. So button one is for clean and overdrive. Button two is for overdrive one and overdrive two. Uh, number three is the chorus soundscape sound you heard at the beginning. And number four is a tuner. Um, and that four-way foot, four foot switch is brilliant, and that's one of the outstanding features of this amplifier is that ability to save and have quite a lot of possibility sound-wise just on this amplifier. And the tuner works really well and everything else. Um, yeah, and the modulations, you've got chorus, phaser, and flanger. They're all really cool sounds. I'll show you them in a bit. The reverb's really nice. I'll show you that in a sec. The delay's really nice. I'll show you that in a sec. Uh, the dampening button, don't ever use that. It just kills the amplifier. Uh, and also another weak point on this amp is the speaker isn't that great either. It's like a no-make speaker and it's extremely weak. Very, very weak speaker in my opinion. That's why I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it through my big 412 at the end of the video and let you hear it through that. So without further ado, this is the clean channel of the MG 100 fx <laughs> Okay, so that's the reverb at this point in time. That reverb's set to three, so that's kind of like a quarter almost. If I roll the reverb to half now, it's a really nice reverb. Well, on full whack, well, I'll get to full whack in a minute, but it's half. It's a really depthy reverb, really depthy. Uh, a lot of depth to it. Um, it's like the ocean. That's weird, isn't it? Uh, this is uh, three quarters. And this is 
all the way up, which is great for soundscapes. So reverb is really, really cool. Really, really nice reverb, and this is it off. Super dry. Super dry. Okay, so um, I'm going to switch over to OD, well, Crunch Channel now and show you that. I've kind of got like a Steve Ray Vaughan ish kind of sound programmed in. So let me switch over to OD, well, Crunch, not OD, it's Crunch, called Crunch Like a Biscuit. Calm down, Dave, and switch. Okay, so this is the kind of uh, the Crunch Channel, so to say. And, um, the EQ I've got, well, I'll tell you the EQs, and I'll, actually, I'll tell you what, actually, I'll write all the EQs for each individual uh, clean crunch, overdrive one and overdrive two in the description box below. So if you want the EQ I've got, uh, it's all down there. Hello down there. So this is uh, uh, the crunch channel. <laughs> sound like restricted and, and thin they just sound a little bit thin to me I anyway, know this is overdrive one this is kind of like a classic over kind of distortion it's not playing an A sound I've got problems with the nail man. sounds I got there, that's clean, that's crunch, overdrive one, overdrive two, but what I will say is I don't feel inspired when I play through this amplifier, it doesn't fill me full of want to play it, and I, I, I hate to be negative, I really do hate to be negative, I'm, I, I don't, I don't like being negative about kind of like amps like this, but when it's not right for me, it's not right, and I, I can't, you know, I don't want to lie to people, if it's not right, it's not right, and this amp is, is, is good, but it's not one of those amps that's on top of my Christmas list, let's put it that way. It's it's not the CR120 or the or the old MG. Um, it's just 
it just seems like you know one step back to me from the original energy which is which is really upsetting for me it's really kind of disappointing because uh, I was really kind of like when I read the, <clears throat> when this first came out I read the features I was like wow that's going to be amazing and I plugged it plugged into a few and it just wasn't there for me it just wasn't it just sounds thin wispy and very brittle sounding and just not very strong uh, if, if you know if, if that if that's the word and, and the amplifier hisses I got to I got to put it on some tuner it's getting on my nerves it just hisses really badly um you know I don't know if that's just this 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 amp that might hisses a lot but uh, the old MG is so so superior to me it really is and I, I say I will do a comparison between the two but uh, but I'll do that another day today as well focus on this amplifier um, yeah it doesn't inspire me to play and I, um, I kept messing up a lot there as well because it's the sound just doesn't it it doesn't make me feel comfortable in my own playing which is which is never a good thing I mean I'm sure there's people out there who love these things and, that, and that's cool but uh, for me the original MG was just, just better but anyway uh, I want to oh, let, let me show you um, some of the effects uh, so You've heard the reverb. These are the. Um, let me turn the effects on. So this is now the. Uh, this is chorus. Can you kick in? sound phaser <laughs> and you got your flanger which is oh flanger is always that effect you need on full whack tap tempo again I would like an, I would like a separate dial to be able to tweak that better because tap tempo in is a bit hit and miss <laughs> too fair yeah I, I, just I would like know another dial just to kind of like tweak the time on the delay that would have been really really cool but it's, it's not bad tap tempoing is is okay but unless you actually know the tempo you're after it's really quite it's quite difficult to get it But I say there are some positives and there are some negatives to this amp. To me, there's more negatives uh, than there are positives. It's a good amp, but it could be better, and it's not superior to the old MG at all, in my opinion. But um, I'm going to plug in. I'm going to plug it into my uh, big 412 Marshall now, and I'll let you hear it through that, um, which does make it a bit fatter. It does make it a bit more of a better sound. Um, not a great deal, in my opinion, but it does. It is better. So if you do have one of these. I would highly recommend getting a better speaker or a speaker, a better speaker cab because it'll just bring you out to life more. The, the stock speakers are just lifeless. They are absolutely lifeless. And I don't know what Marshall were thinking. I, I, I don't know if it was a cost cutting measure or, or what, but it, it just, the, the, the stock speakers are, are poor, in my opinion. But anyway, let me plug it through the 412 and let's play some more. Okay, so uh, got it plugged through my 412. Uh, now, this does bring the amplifier to life a lot more than it does through just the uh, single 12. Um, so, this is the clean sound. Crunch now, it's kind of that steep gray one. Thank you. 
sounds fatter as well. It, it, it just sounds more, it's got more body. This is the uh, Overdrive 1. <laughs> Infinitely better, and this is Overdrive 2 with the Solero sound. <laughs> is quite a lot but it's just better so you know as i say i can't recommend changing the stock speakers out and you know burning them in a fire uh enough they are just absolutely they stifle the amplifier you know it sounds so much better um with a better speaker it just would um so yeah uh the marshall mg 100 fx really good amp but with quite a lot of negatives from me uh, in my opinion, it's a really, really cool amp, but it's not superior to the old one. The old one is is a, is a lot better, in my opinion, personally. It, it's a good amp, but if you want an MG, go for one of the older ones. They're just better. They sound better. They're just more. They they, they just feel better. They're more inspiring than yeah. This, this amp's it. It feels better and more inspiring through the 412 than it did through the single 12, but it's still, for me, it's just not quite there. It's just lacking in that, you know, that extra excitement that, that certain amps have. <laughs> Excuse me. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I don't like to be negative, though, uh, you know, massively negative about things, but, you know, if, if something, like I say, if something's not right, it's not right. It's as simple as that, you know, you can't. You don't want to be going through just kind of like faking it, just you know, just just because to you know to follow a trend or whatnot. If it's not right, it's not right, and yeah, that's the way it is. And this amp to me is just not right. But anyway, I've said that enough. Um, I will do a comparison between this and the uh, the older MG at some point through the 412. But I won't be doing it through the 112 as that's not fair. Uh, so it will be through the big 412. And uh, yeah, I will see you again for another video very soon. Hope you have a great morning, afternoon, good evening, and I'll see you again. Goodbye now. Stop saluting. Why does everyone salute? This isn't the army! Goodbye now.